Hi, my name is Devabrutha Rai. I am here to help you learn spoken English. Today we will discuss about past time, past tense. Let me at first give you an example of past event. I went to see a film with my friend. He had purchased the tickets before. He had been waiting for me. We met at the station and we went to the cinema hall. It was raining outside. We entered the hall and we enjoyed the film a lot. Now, if we analyze these sentences, then we can notice that there are four kinds of sentences. Simple first. I went to see the film. I met him. Simple past means a single action in the past. It was raining means past continuous. Past continuous means that an action was going on in the past. He had purchased the tickets. It is past perfect. Past perfect denotes an action completed had been completed before another past action he had purchased the tickets before we went to see the film he had been waiting for me past perfect continuous tense because it means that an action had been going on at or before some point of time in the past it continued before a certain point of time he had been waiting before I met him for a period of time. Though there are no passive forms of perfect continuous, but there are passive forms of simple past, past continuous and past perfect. Just like I can say the ticket had been purchased by whom? By my friend. Passive form of past perfect. Subject plus had been plus past participle form of the verb. The film was enjoyed. Passive form of the simple past. Subject plus was where plus past participle form of the verb. The film was being watched. By whom? By us. It's a passive form of past continuous tense. Subject plus was or where plus being plus past participle form of the verb. When we want to emphasize on the action, on the verb, that time we use passive sentences. In passive sentences, subjects don't do anything. Rather, they experience the result of the action. And the real subjects are mentioned end of the sentence or omitted. As because we know who or which or what are the subjects. Or the subjects are not so important. We want to emphasize on the verb. We can also use the past form of models like could, would, might, etc. To express past time or some polite expressions. Now when you express some past events, think what kind of sentence it is. If you are thinking of and single action it's a simple past if something was going on past continuous something had been completed before another action in the past then past perfect and if something had been going on before a certain action or certain time then past perfect continuous thanks for listening